Hi there, Michael Palladini, aka MacGyver, uh, working on the uh, Fiero slash UTV project, and uh, a little noisy here because I'm using my uh, uh, metal cutting bandsaw here. I'm going to give you a shot on that. Cut some metal for the Metal for the framework here. I'm going to the finish up here in just a minute. off like it's supposed to and it's nice uh, anyway now it's a little quieter in here made a little progress since the last video working on framing up the front end and uh, it's gonna look like a little tank slash Jeep probably when I get done with it but uh, I'm utilizing everything from the Fiero that I can including the brakes, master cylinder, all that. And uh we're gonna have our uh, uh boxing in the front part here where I can make my fender. And uh this isn't the piece I'm gonna use but this piece will come over here like attach like uh like that so you'll have almost like a uh a Jeep fender that'll come out over the wheels there. And uh, you see how the we've got the firewall in there, with the brake booster mounted up and brake pedal, and getting ready to hang the gas pedal here for too long. And uh, it's coming along, I'm making progress. Uh, pretty much got the got the steering column that's permanently mounted now and it looks like it's sticking way back from the thing there but once you get the instrument cluster in and uh, all the sheet metal it's gonna it's gonna fill up real fast so and with a shout out to my buddy Shane in Australia there he sent uh, he was kind enough to send me a Aussie flag to go with my BBC Top Gear poster and uh, hope he gets his uh, ruffles. I sent him a whole bunch of them and uh, poor guy can't get good ruffle chips down there so every now and then all his buddies over here or YouTube buddies send him a care package with uh, ruffles potato chips in them so just some things you can't get in Australia I reckon. Anyhow we're making it slow but sure I think one guy uh, daddy tech Ant was telling me one guy was asking about if I was going to use wood for the floor and the answer to that is no uh, the, the wood is just kind of halfway laid there to give me a, a feel for the seat how it's going to sit and how my feet are going to reach as far as the pedals you know I'm custom making this thing because one thing I hate about all the UTVs I've driven is is that you're like a little blue haired old lady driving you know you're scrunched up against the wheel and uh, they just don't fit good for tall people so I'm making making mine so it'll be comfortable to drive so that gives me a you notice there's a heck of a lot more leg room there than in a regular UTV so but, uh, but no we're gonna have a steel you know a steel plate on the floor and then there'll be another firewall in the back here coming up from behind the seat and uh, then this will all be boxed in back here and then the dump bed will be there and, uh, and then we'll also have a, a little protective uh, roll cage over the top and a roof you know to keep the rain off you so but that's pretty much it for now and we're uh, you know a lot of little engineering challenges to work out as we go you know this was uh, 
uh, by canning the radiator forward the way I did. It gave me just enough room because the uh, brake booster and master cylinder are, are uh, uh, a pretty long arrangement there. And uh, I got a rag here to catch any drippings, but you can see that it will, <laughs> that it just fits. So, but that's all that matters, you know. It's like uh, horseshoes, hand grenades, and large thermonuclear devices. That's where it almost counts. So, but uh, there you have it. You know, it doesn't look like I've accomplished a whole lot, but you know, as you're going along with this, you know, you run into all, like I said, all these little engineering challenges you have to overcome, and. Uh, that takes time to sit and figure out so but we're getting there so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time okay now this is what you have when you uh, live with uh, the incredible Tammy of Tammy's Country Kitchen what we have here are slow roasted beef ribs that have been cooking for like 12, 13 hours. Low and slow. This is just a veritable culinary food gasm. And then plate it up with some mashed potatoes, homemade barbecue sauce. Mm -mm -mm. Life is good. So now it's time to sit down and have dinner, and then I'm probably going to want to take a nap.